You might have heard of the data type JSON and if you think JSON is a who you should probably watch this video. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it's a format of data that is used to store and exchange data across servers, applications and databases. JSON is made up of key value pairs. The keys are written in double quotes and the values can be strings, booleans, arrays, numbers, and even other objects. When JSON is sent or received, it is in a string format. So this would be a JSON string. Let's see how JSON is used in an API request. Using our weather app example, let's make a get request for the weather in London. The API will respond with a JSON string in this format. So we have the city, London, the temperature, 15 degrees, and the condition cloudy. The app can then extract this information from the JSON string, but first it needs to parse it. This just means changing the JSON string into something that the language can read. So if you're using JavaScript and you pass the JSON string, you'll be left with a JavaScript object. But in PHP, it would convert it into a associative array and in Python, it would convert it into a dictionary. Once the JSON has been passed, then it can be used or displayed. And in our weather app, it could say it's 15 degrees and cloudy. So why is JSON used so widely by modern APIs? Well, if you compare it to other formats like XML and YAML, it's actually quite easy to read. It's also lightweight and fast because it uses minimal data and most programming languages can use JSON. So in summary, JSON is just a universal format for storing and exchanging data between applications, making it really key in web services and APIs. I hope this video was helpful and make sure you check out the rest of the beginner software developer series. But other than that, I'll see you next time.